Sports Life and Hip Hop, we have tonight. Seneca, Seneca. Dream Girl Studio. Dream Girl and DreamGirlStudio.net. What do you have for us today? I have handmade earrings and denim jackets. And I usually buy vintage items and revamp them. Oh, nice, nice. Now, how long does it take for you to make an item, let's say the denim jacket portion? Mm, a couple of hours. A couple um, of hours? Yeah, more depending on how much detail is on it. Like if it's sequence on it, it may take longer because I'm breaking sewing needles. But if it's just denim on it, a couple of hours. Now, is this a special order or is this just your creativity going wild? Just my creativity going wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Hold on. How's you want those blue jean ones for the book? How long did your skirt take? And is that for sale or is that one of one? This is one of one. Uh -huh. but I will make it if someone asks for it. Oh, okay. How long did that take? Um, this, this took a minute. Yeah, it looks like it was made from a bunch of yeah. other things. Yeah, yeah, ruffles take a while. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Is, now, this, is this your main business? Yes. How long have you been doing it? <laughs> um, almost three years. You have, you have money. I was uh, previously a school social worker. Um, and you quit that because this was too much money. And I quit that because... You don't want to punch a clock. You're making too much money here. You don't want to punch a clock. I wanted to give my all to my business. Oh. Um, but I still i am about to start going into CPS schools and do workshops with kids and teach them how to make items. Oh, teaching the truth, teaching the young black youth. Yeah. yeah. As far as what made you jump out on a limb and say, I want to become an entrepreneur and I want to do this on my own. And not that's a good clock. job. Yes, yeah, it is, but I wasn't happy. Ah. You wasn't happy. And so I just took a leap of faith and I was like, if I got to live in a studio apartment and eat ramen noodles, then I'm going to be on my own. <laughs> How long were you with CPS? Uh, almost eight years. How many years? Eight years. Hmm. Uh, now, brick and mortar is next? Um, so I have a suite where I host workshops for ladies. It's like a craft and sit where you bring your denim jacket, bring with your girlfriends, bring your wine, and I have like all kind of patches. Oh, you don't have anything for guys, okay. It's called Dream Girl. <laughs> well, you guys oh. are, but still, you, what if guys want to be oh, creative? Yeah. But at least your girl can be happy. <laughs> I'm talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> so in my studio, I do have some items, but it's mostly for the workshops. Okay, got it. No, this is dope, though. A mobile truck is nice. Uh, mobile truck? Yes, that's what I want. Ah. What about, um, like, uh, wristlet, bang, you know, like, anklets and all that? Is that next or no? That's not your, not your lane? No? Are you born and raised in Chicago? I am. Which side? Do you hate the West Side? <laughs> I do not hate the West Side. Do you dislike you, you the West Side? Hate is, hate is a strong word. I dislike. Hate nobody. I love everybody. I told you I'm a social worker. I love everybody. Uh, yes. Me. All right. Uh, so, favorite uh, Chicago pizza? Giordano's. <laughs> Deep dish or thin? Deep dish. You don't like Geno's or Luma like Nattis? I, I do like Luma Nattis. Okay. But I grew up with, my dad went to Giordano, so that's what we had. And Italian Fiesta. I never Ooh, had that. Italian Fiesta is so good. Greasy, it's so though. greasy and it's just... My 40 old stomach ain't sticks, like it. Sticks to the arteries. Yeah. <laughs> I can do Italian Fiesta. Wings or flats? Flats. Harold's or Uncle Remus? <laughs> neither. You said Harold's? Oh, okay. I said neither. Neither? What's the last one you had? A whole bunch of fried stuff. Well, I'm saying back in the day, you know. Oh, so you a vegan? No, but I don't eat fried food much. When the last time you had fried food? It's been a minute. Chick oh, if you gotta think about I, it, then. I had Chick Fil A. That's kind of healthy fried. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they use peanut oil, so it's, you know it's healthy. Peanut. Yeah. yeah, that's about as bad as I do. Hmm. Yeah, I do meal prep, salmon and veggie. Ah, oh, sound like you. That's like you. Yeah. Favorite um, favorite thing about Chicago in the summertime? Or wintertime. Or winter, yeah. If you have one. Well, I like I fellowship it. and people and festivals. And, so I like that about Chicago. That's what makes Silver Room so dope. Yeah, too bad it's leaving. Is it? So, is it? They said it's the <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have not got a direct answer on we that. We don't know. Well, they said this is the 
last year. Why they keep might be the last silver room block. It might be next one. Might be the dream girl block. All right. Yeah, we yeah. spoke to them over yeah. there at their booth. They said it takes a, a while to put together. So I'm sure. Yeah. Because it's really working out. Yes. I like that. I don't have to bring my own tent. Oh, well, you didn't have to bring this. No, they wanted everybody's tent to be uniform. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. I know so. I know so. All right, like where, where can we find you on social media? Uh, Dream Girl Studio on Instagram and my zero, my O is a zero. Dream oh, okay. Girl Studio. Oh, Studio, okay. And on Facebook, I'm Dream Girl Studio or Seneca Camille. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. They say. Silver Room, this might be the end of it. What are you going to miss most? Man, first of all, it's like, yo, do I believe it? <laughs> That's what everyone says. Everyone's it's like, yeah, all right. But it's called, this costs money. Yes. And we got to yeah. be we got to be cognizant of that. This is cost money. So, like, mm -hmm. and I think what Eric is really saying, like, this is nice, but, yo, if y'all don't help me, I'm not going to be able to do this because each year it just evolves, right? It gets right. better and doper and greater. So he may have to shut it down to reinvent, right? Oh. So that's my thought. So you my think thought. you're taking a break? Like a garden. Like you, you shut it down for a season, and then you restore and renew. Right. So he might have to shut it down and reevaluate, right, and then, and then do it again. That's my two cents on it. Got it. You said you grow things. Yeah. What types of things are you growing? <laughs> to be honest, I grow, I'm a garden educator, so I grow anything from seed to harvest. Everything starts with a seed. So I grow anything from zucchini to cannabis oh. to roses to I didn't want to I didn't want to throw the C word out there, but <laughs> what? Cucumber? No, no, no. Cannabis. <laughs> cannabis? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Well, it's legal it's now. Legal, so, legal. Right. So What's you, the problem? So do you and own a dispensary? What it is, it's a plant. I wish I owned, and that's a problem. We didn't get in the market. <laughs> yeah. Time, right? That's a big. They, they, pop, the they popped up everywhere. Now. You right. know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, they came out and, like, we created that game, but then mm -hmm. how dare they not, not, not let us in the game? Yep. That's a whole podcast in itself, mm -hmm. right? Come what? on. Come what what, come what on. side of Chicago are you from? South what side. South side. So, do you dislike West Siders? It's not, <laughs> it's not like, you don't hate. You. It ain't no preference. You know what I'm saying? You, you know how you like Giordano's or Uno's? Right. Or maybe Giordano's work like right. Italian Fiesta. That's Italian Fiesta. It's Giordano's. So I'm going to prefer that Giordano's. I'm like a Giordano's type of girl. You know? but, but Whitney Young's on the west side, so. If you want to consider it that, you know, you can. I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. <laughs> West Loop, whatever you want to consider it, like whatever you want to label it, I I receive it. What is what is your pizza of choice? My what? Pizza. What do you like to go to? Oh, I ain't a big pizza girl. You know, I can tell my family I'm a little lactose in town. Uh, <laughs> I don't be fucking around with that pizza, they got that cheese. They got that's it. true, but that shit don't be tasting right. <laughs> so I just learned in my older age that. But if I had to, I like a good, I like a good Giordano's if I had to. You know, if I could, okay. if my okay. tummy let me. <laughs> Uncle Remus or? Ooh, Harold's all day. What is mm. Uncle Remus? Like, what the, what is that? Wow. You never heard of it? You never heard of what Uncle Remus? What is that? Wow. I'm okay, being facetious, but no. Oh, okay, yeah, I heard of it, but I ain't gonna be eating on it. <laughs> wow. Can you tell the people what makes Chicago such a beautiful place? We are diverse, we are eclectic, but we don't fuck around either though. Like, you know, we go other places and spaces, we're recognized. Like people are like, are you from Chicago? Like that's, and, and it's, it's, it's a connotation on it. Some of it's negative, some of it's good, but it's a connotation. But we have a little bit of everything for the people. Like you can eat good for two dollars and ninety nine cents. That's yeah. true. Yeah. You can eat good for two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yeah. Like, we don't discriminate. We got, we got. Can't it do all. that everywhere. Right. And we got the best skyline. Oh my God. That's not even. Are we not right here on the lake? Are we? Can y'all? Yes. We is right here on the lake. Like we is having this event literally on the lake. Like. Our city, our aesthetics, you can't, you can't stop, you can't top that, you can't top that, you can't. That's true. Thank you very much Thank for, you your, for time. your time. I appreciate y'all. Remember to always grow something. Always grow something. Yes. Y'all right? take care. I appreciate y'all. Go Dolphins. Go Dolphins. That's what's up. You see it. 93. Yeah, I want to ask you about yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> we got the throwback joint. Uh, Q Bella from the west side of Chicago. Q Bella. So you hate the south side? 
Nah, I, I don't hate the South Side. I don't but, hate the South Side. I ain't, but, never, I ain't never gonna live on the South Side. Never say never though. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I rather I rather be out west. So allegedly, Silver Room is uh, in its final year. What do you miss most about Silver Room? Uh, what what I miss most really, man, is just being able to see everybody who I ain't seen in a long time. True. Being everybody who I've been waiting to see off Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All in one place. Uh, the good music, the vendors, just the fellowship, you know? I got a uh, question as far as eatery. Okay. What's your favorite pizza spot? Oh, uh, Lou Malnati's for Deep Dish. I and, agree. And, I agree. Uh, home Run In for Thin Crust. I'm I agree right. with that too. Yeah. You like a sour though. <laughs> yeah, a sour though. <laughs> what, 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 what's yours? I, I, I don't like Italian Fiesta for oh. the, for the, if I want my my arteries clogged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's an Italian Grease. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, you just, said that. I'm yeah. glad you said. That. <laughs> Shout out to Italian Fiesta. I love y'all, yo. But but uh, Giordano's is okay. Lumana. I'm not a Giordano's fan. Gino's East is, is better than Lumana. Yes. I like Gino's East. Gino's East is better. But I'm gonna tell you, if, and everybody watching at home, when you go to Lou Malnati's, you gotta get the loop. You gotta get the yeah, deep dish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deep dish loop. Yep. Lou Malnati's thin crust is trash. Yeah, I don't like the thin crust. <laughs> that shit ass. It's crazy, cause yeah. the deep dish is great. I mean, let me try the thin, thin crust. The thin crust is right. trash, yeah. The deep nah, dish bang. I tried yeah. the thin crust once, never again. The first time I had Lou Malnati's, I had the thin crust. Mm. And I was like, I'm like, this y'all pizza? <laughs> this trash. This yeah, home run in thin crust yeah. way better. Yeah. You, yeah. Where, uh, you watching the fight tonight? No, 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 I gotta work tonight. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Do my you bad. work, well, you can't work at Marshall Fields. They not around no more. <laughs> Can you explain the shirt? Did you used to work there? No, no, basically, I used to that's shop dope, there dope. like everybody else. That's that's I've never dope. seen a shirt with yeah, their logo dope. on. Oh, that's man. Dope. So, you know what, no, it's crazy. With the new balances, I see man, you, son. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see you, son. You know what's crazy? The person who made this, I know the name of their brand, but I can't remember. Ah. Right? I can't remember, but, Every time I wear this, people always ask me, and I always send them to their Instagram. Okay. It's one of them things I gotta go in my DM and find it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But he's actually a super dope designer, too. Right. You know Chicago saying? based? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. But if y'all watching, if y'all follow me, y'all can slide in my DM and I can point you to him. It's Q U E <laughs> underscore B I L L A H. That's my, that's cool. my Instagram. Dope. Right. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, man. Love, man. I love the sweater though. Yeah, sweater. Yeah, I'm, with it. I'm like, yo, I just Hey, totally off the record, bro. So COVID hit. You had a video that had mask on way before COVID hit. Ten years before that. Yeah. 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 Real quick though. Oh, oh, my bad. Right, we got history. Right, right, right. Talk about that. All right. So, so basically, um, and I think it was 2010 or 2011. I made a video, right, music video, and in the video. I painted a world, I painted a picture of a world where like everybody was walking around with face masks on, right? And then one day I walked out the house and I took my mask off, right? Now, when I came up with this idea, yeah, I, I know didn't the know why I was doing it, right? <laughs> it was just like, I didn't even know what it meant at the time. I just had this vision like, man, I want to do this. I want to come up with an idea. I mean, I want to shoot a video where everybody got on a face mask except me. So the uh, name of the song was called the Fresh Air, the Fresh Air Syndrome. Okay. And the way I work, right. I actually make songs based off video ideas, right? Oh, okay. So I made, I, I came up with that idea, then I came up with the name Fresh Air Syndrome, then I made the song. You thought of the video first, the, then the song. Uh, right, right. And it was one of them things where like, you come up with a, I don't know, do, do either one of y'all make music? I used to I used to make okay. beats back in the day. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes I come up with an idea and I'm just like, man, ain't nobody gonna understand this. Right. And then I like I just like forget about it and, and won't do it. All but right. some was telling me like like do this shit. You know what right. I'm saying? And I did it, right? And it's funny, I I shot it in Wicker Park. I was walking around, I had like a hundred hospital masks. And I was walking around Wicker Park asking people to put on hospital masks and be in the scene for my video. Right. And and they didn't understand why I was doing it. <laughs> but they did it. But they did it. You know wow. what I'm saying? Crazy shit I did in 2011. It's a baby in the video. I convinced this dude in the restaurant, right? <laughs> to a, a white guy. I convinced him to do it. And, and he was like putting the mask on the baby. And, and then when, when COVID hit, 
and I and I start going to the stores. Like, like I literally have a sign in the video that says "No mask, no service." Wow. In the video, you know what I'm saying? And then when I start seeing that sign, I thought about that. Then I thought about that kid, and I was like, man, that kid is like 10 years old now. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Look it up. It's called the Fresh Air Syndrome on YouTube. Absolutely. I, I, when, when you see it, you gonna be. It, it's not gonna look peculiar to you. Right. <laughs> right. Right. But it happened in 2011. Fav uh, favorite MC growing up? Redman. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Are you from Chicago? Yeah. yeah. Born wow. and raised. Yeah, Redman. Redman. Hell Red man. yeah. Red I man. was not expecting that. Yeah, I like that. I like all, that's my all time. Let those monkeys right. out. Is it, be, is it because you kind of resemble him? Man, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, when I, when, I, when, I, when I first started rapping, I, started, I grew my hair. I wanted to be him. I oh, to okay. Be you know what I'm saying? Favorite album? Favorite album is, is There's a Dark Side. There's a Dark Side. Not Money Waters. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> Money Waters is, is, is kind of cold. But I don't lie to you. Like, I, I think what it is is um, the music that came out when you was in high school. Yes. That's like. Yeah, it stuck with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like. I was probably like 15 when that, uh, Brent, when, uh, Eric Sermon and all. Yeah. So I think, uh, There's a Dark Side and Method and Takao came out the same month. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yes. Yeah. 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 So I basically, I basically wanted to beat them two days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I'm assuming your rap name was Q Billa? No, nah, no. Nah, so <laughs> they, that, that's my rap name now. But, uh, what was your back, original name? Back then, man, I had like crazy names and shit. Like, I used to, uh, I used to call myself uh, Trigonometry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the Wu Tang era. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I, 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 this yeah. is the Wu Tang era. Then when I got in college, somebody named me Q Bill. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. so you can't give yourself a rap. I, I, I <laughs> have, a, I have a question for you. Me and him debate. Okay. Is cannabis a legend? Cannabis. Man, that, that's hard to say, bro. You Whoa, know why? it is? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because... Shout out to Channel 7. Because I was there. I was there when cannabis was hot. Like, yes. that's my era. Right, right, yeah, right, 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 yeah, right. But that was literally two years. Is he a legend? You know what I'm saying? Yes or no? Man. Brandon Roy didn't play that long. People think he a legend. Five, he four, is. three, two, one. Sec yeah, Mike Tyson in his video. Man. <laughs> Put like this. Cannabis is legendary. I don't know if he's a legend. Uh, straddling pause. Man. Man, no one thinks Cannabis is a legend. legendary, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's a legend. He battled with LL. Ew, and Eminem. LL responded. He battled with LL, yeah. So did Kool Mo D. You know what I'm saying? Like, when last ain't LL to Kool took D. the time to respond to him, though. Exactly. He responded to Kool Mo D. Kool Mo D is a legend. Exactly. Kool Mo D is a legend, but when last ain't listened to him? Yeah. Well, he had his well, time. I listen to cannabis too, though. I mean, he had a, he had his he had, he got a page anymore. in history. But I'm just saying, like like you still go listen to old stuff though, right? Right. When we still. Like, when the last still... time you go listen to cannabis though, and, and and what would you listen to? For me, I would only go listen to freestyles. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Would, would, would you listen to his album? Not at all. That shit was <laughs> can I bust? Yes, you can. That shit was I pro that shit I'm was probably not going to the album. You're right. I didn't think of that. No, nah, but me and him been debating that for a minute. Like, a legend gotta have a classic album. Man, I, I can't. I can't debate you on that. Yeah, I, 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 I can't. I can't. All right. As a rapper, is he? A, far right. As putting words together. As, 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 as an MC, bro. Right. I give him that. Okay. okay all, all right. All right. All right. right. We we'll give him that. that. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Hey, he was tough though. He was tough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he came up, he was tough. How you doing? All right. He was tough, man. All right. All right. Thank All you for right. your time, Thanks, brother. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks, I appreciate brother. it, man, on the real. Hey, right. hey, low key, I was just telling him I ain't had time to do this, but I'm glad I did it. <laughs> Thank you. Man. All right, appreciate, appreciate it, bro. It, bro. Uh, tag, tag me. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. What is your name? Where are you from? My name is Sherry Soul. I'm originally from Louisiana. Grew up in Chicago. Where did you get this beautiful hat from? Ooh. The name of the company, oh, it's it's right down a few tents away. Oh, you got it from here? I got it from here. I forgot the name of the business, but it's on my, my phone. Okay. Sorry I lost my voice, but for good reason. I performed a little bit, and I'm going to perform again. Are you a rapper or a singer? Both. Oh. All right, what are you going to take to get your voice back? Rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
water, spraying some more of those rabbits. No spray. tea, no tea. Tea when I can find it. Okay. Yeah. What part of Chicago are you from? Originally, um, I grew up on the North Side and West Channel. So as a North Sider, do you dislike West Siders? <laughs> no, actually I love West Siders. They remind me of my people back home in Louisiana. What about South Siders? They're okay as well. They're okay too. I oh, love okay. Them. Yeah. Cause you know, South Siders and West Siders is like a it's like a beef, but North Siders is kind of like you guys are neutral, so to speak. So that's true. <laughs> yeah, super neutral, neutral like North. So, so outside, tell the people what is the best thing about Chicago. Ooh, if it's not the if it's not Lakeshore Drive and the the landscape. I think I'm doing it wrong, but whatever. Skyline. It's the food, the skyline, yes. Ooh, it's the food, the people, the ambiance. Chicago just has an energy that's untouched. Ballot. Louisiana, how long were you in Louisiana before you came here? Enough to know that that's an energy that's untouched as well. So yeah, I came here in 93. I grew up here in Chicago, but I went back home many of times so I can get the essence of what Louisiana really brings in Congress. Okay, that leads me to my next question. Louisiana food or Chicago food? Ooh. Ooh. My baby, Louisiana. Wow. Oh, that's disrespectful. Ooh. But you know what? I'm not talking New Orleans. I'm talking my food, baby. Oh, okay. okay. Those okay. of you that know me, my friends, they know. What's the best dish in Louisiana? Ooh. Or your Crawfish. favorite? Crawfish. I think it's gumbo, but a special type of gumbo. Like I make a chicken and I do lay sausage. Gumbo. We're not talking about Campbell's gumbo. I do <laughs> vegan gumbos and I do seafood what? gumbos. Vegan? No, you can't do vegan gumbo. Well, you can. How long have you been vegan? I'm not. Oh. <laughs> she just make vegan gumbo. Yeah. You, make, you just make vegan gumbo. Yeah, yeah, but it's coming. Favorite okay. Chicago food? Ooh, man. I'm going to have to say the pizza. Yeah. What, what's your favorite location? Ooh. It's between Margaritas and Italian Fiesta. Between who? What's the first Margaritas one? or Italian Fiesta. What is that? Mm -hmm. Italian Fiesta. Margaritas on 75th and 79th. Thin crust? Thin crust. <laughs> You're not a deep dish fan? Deep dishes are I, I, It's a lot of cheese and bread. I mess with pan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, drums or flats? Drums. Flats are good, too. <laughs> Drum flat. <laughs> Um, I got I, I got a less than serious question. Dominoes or spades? And have you killed anyone playing spades? I have spades. Yes. Spades. Have you ever been? What was the most upset you've been playing spades? Never. You've never been mad at yeah, your partner playing spades? I don't understand it. I don't understand why people get mad. Really? So you always win? Okay. I do a lot. Oh, okay. All right. You always have great partners. All right, got it. I think I'm the great partner. Oh. <laughs> Where can the people find you? What are your social medias? It's at Sherry Soul Music on Instagram. C H E R I S O U L Music. All right, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, Sports yep. Life and Hip Hop. It's over, man. Silver Room, Black Club Party. 18th Annual it's Silver Room, Black Room Party. Silver Room. Uh, appreciate them having us out here. It's been a good vibe. Yo, it's good people out here. We've had Got a lot fun. of interviews, had a lot some of good interviews. food. Sun setting right now, skyline is dope. Uh, shout out to uh, everyone that came out, like all the beautiful, all the vendors, all the food. Yes, for sure. Um, you know, uh, shout out to the Chicago Park District for, for having this event. I'm sure they allowed mm -hmm. this. And um, we, we can't say we'll be back next year because we don't it's know. Over. Like we don't know. It's so. over, man. It's the last but sports one. life and hip hop will be other places. We'll be doing yes. other things. Uh, but we just wanted to show the people from all over the world where we're from, and we're from Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. And it ain't uh, all shoot 'em up, bang bang. Yeah, it's not all shoot 'em up, bang bang. And we have a great time. And there's beautiful people that live in the city. Now you can't come out here during January. Nah, but, you don't want to do that. You know, during the summertime shot, that is a thing. So summertime shot is dope. Yo, shout out to Billionaire Mike, and uh, shout out to all the people that came out. Yo, Ricky Sway, Silver Room, peace. Peace.